Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Cast off line. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plan. will be in the pavilion when you're ready. Corvo, she's waiting. You should go see the Empress. You know what to do next time? Yes, yes. The pressure was too low. All these new machines are touching. There he is. Good boy, sir. Highest water lock in the Empire, they say. Sokolov fiddled with the hydraulics, and it runs like a dream now. Welcome back, Lord Protector. It's an honor to see you. You were lucky to get away for a bit. The plague is only getting worse here. ships moving along the river now, with the plague and all. She's waiting in the pavilion. She's ready for you, sir. She's not happy. She says to tell you to come at once. Sir. The spy master is with her, but she'll want to see you right away. She's in the pavilion, sir. She'll be glad to see that you're back. I know she's been worried, Lord Protector. Her Majesty is waiting in the pavilion. I hope it's good news, sir. Things are getting bad. Good to have you back, sir. Please? Were there any whales? Wait! 
Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Okay, here we go. Follow me, Corvo. While you were gone, Mother seemed very sad. I think she missed you. Let's see if you're still good at this. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. Okay, you win. We should go now, so Mother can see you too. Ugh. Whoop. Mother told me that your trip was important. She's been worried. Did you see any pirates? Mother's going to be happy. She missed you. Take me with you on a trip one day, please. The Lord Spy Master is with her, but she's said to show you right in. She's in the pavilion, sir. Her Majesty will be relieved to know you're back with us. It must have been important for her to send you away, Lord Protector. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. Corvo, if you won't marry my mother, would you marry me? Later, will you show me that Tivian chokehold like you promised? I won't tell mother. Everyone seems scared because of the rat plague. I'm glad you're here. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Indeed, I believe so. You saw my improvements to the waterlock. I'm sure the Empress is eager to see you. Eh, Corvo? I do my duty for the realm, but not gladly. I leave the worst parts of him in shadow, but still... Hmm. I must preserve our High Overseer for future generations of the faithful to marvel at. See what I'm forced to paint. The High Overseer is no beauty. In this painting, I insult my own genius. It was a fool's errand, Corvo. The plague comes from inside us. We must all strengthen our faith. I Overseer, I must ask you to hold your pose. No foreigner can save us from the consequences of our corrupt society. No fancy elixirs, either. Remember, to every man his choice, to every man his fate. Say what you will. This plague has brought the faithful to our doors. Say what you will. This plague has brought the faithful to our doors. Corvo, please. I can't see him. The 
things are bad. Could this She'll see you at worse? once. Chances are very good. Good to have you back, sir. I hope it's good news, sir. It's been good traveling with you, Corvo. Have you ever met my niece, Callista? She's getting more beautiful every year. I'll be happier back with the watch. I'm no diplomat. <coughs> Strange, we saw whales off Whitecliff. It's too early in the year. Hello, my lord. Uh. I had to sleep in the scullery last night. The plague riots shut everything down. <coughs> everything all right, sir? The Empress and young lady Emily will be pleased to have you back, Lord Protector. I hope we're not fools to come back here. The plague's only getting worse. <coughs> They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo. Two days early, full of surprises, as usual. Lord Protector, I know the Empress will be delighted to have you back. Don't you have a message to deliver? One shouldn't keep Her Majesty waiting. I've heard the other Isles won't aid us. Why did I even bother convincing her to send you, you might ask? She still thinks we can help those who have the plague. Preposterous. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What news have you brought? I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! Emily, get behind me! Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Corvo! Oh. 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 Mommy! Oh. Get away! Corvo! Corvo... It's all coming apart. Find... Find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one. You'll know what to do. Won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Peg him!
your chance, Corvo. Sign the confession, and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time, and someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corvo. God! Take him back to his cell. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. Take my patrol. I don't need shit from you. execution tomorrow. It's on account of Corvo, the one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter, Emily. So it's an occasion. Right. A social event for the High and Mighty. Come see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. They're as bad as us betting on the dogfights. Attention. The solitary off-limits to maintenance crews, unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance, with one week's notice. Smell you from here. You always amuse me. Solid 
military wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the law. Escort to the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Attention, the solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Off limit by an officer of escort to the solitary wing must be scheduled in it.
will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. Attention, the solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews, unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance, with one week's notice. Corvo's unconscious again. Though he's taken more punishment than the two men we brought in for interrogation. When he wakes, we'll start again. Having him sign the confession for her murder isn't critical, but it might be useful to us later. The assassination of an empress is not a trivial matter. Corvo's unconscious hug. that boiler leak from yesterday. Forget it. Just do your rounds. The report's trouble for both of us. I'm moving. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only.
Attention, the solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crew, unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. <laughs> I heard you got eaten alive at cards. Another night, another patrol with you. I buy your ration of elixir from today? Shut up. scheduled in advance with one week's notice. restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. scheduled in advance with one week's notice.
Tomorrow's execution will be yeah, restricted to the personnel to assigned today. to the event and I approved dignitaries only. Not everyone did, but I really like the Empress. Did I tell you about the time I almost caught that guy who killed the Empress? Bug someone else.
solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Attention, tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only.
some kind of explosive to blast his way out. That doesn't happen by accident. You think he had help? Who'd know how to do that? Bottle Street gang, maybe. Watch for booby traps. Could be some down here by the look of it. Good. If we're lucky, one of them will get Corvo. You're afraid of him? He's Sir Conan. <laughs> supposed to load the bodies in the carts headed to the flooded district? Yeah, but screw that. That's too far. I don't want to catch the plague, do you? No. Doesn't the elixir prevent it? Maybe. Either way, let's just dump them down there at the rats eat them.
Attention Dunwall citizens, the assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Any evidence as to his whereabouts must be delivered to the City Watch at once.
He won't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take him out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Smells like a dead sea bird in there. Come here to die sometimes in the dark. Just slip into the water, don't come out. I wonder how deep it is. I can't see the bottom. some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here. I could still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. This is the Hound Pits pub, closed for business after the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Royalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can.
I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. Welcome to the Hound Pit Pub, sir. How may I help? Hello, sir. I am Wallace, and this is Cecilia. We have been informed of your arrival and will do our best to stay out of your way while you conduct your business. Yes. Lydia's a servant here as well. The Admiral served in the Navy under the Empress, but something happened with the Lord Regent that drove the Admiral out, if I understand it right. Admiral Havelock made it very clear that we aren't to carry lamps outside. Maybe you haven't seen much of it, but the city has changed a great deal after the Empress died. Since the Lord Regent took over, the city watch is best avoided. Most people try not to go outside at all. We can't leave the pub. I have nowhere to go anyway. My apartment was in the flooded district. Attention all citizens, curfew extends from sundown to sunrise unless you are otherwise authorized. Violators will be subject to interrogation and detained when necessary. Remember, the boldest measures are the safest. I'm sure the Admiral was anxious to meet you. It wasn't easy getting you here. I wouldn't hang about if I were you. From what I understand, time's getting short. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The Old Port District has been added to the evacuation list. The Weeper count for the month of seas has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal.
river traffic is forbidden from landing in the distillery district due to risk of infectious contact. Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. Must be Corvo. I am Lydia, at your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. When they told me who it was, well, I thought you'd be older, like the Admiral. Do not attempt to house or care for a friend or family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. If I may, I am the personal assistant to Lord Pendleton, and one of the senior servants at Pendleton House, as was my father. Now I am entrusted with this house, the home of the Loyalists. I have never seen the Admiral fail at any venture. If order can be restored to the city of Dunwall, I believe he can do it. If anyone can get your old life back, it's him. I don't need to tell you, if the authorities investigated this place, we would be hard-pressed to explain ourselves. We brought a few trifles over from Pendleton Manor. A touch of home in these trying times. I'm sorry it's so Your dark we can't risk being seen. Privacy. It is a bit romantic though, isn't it? I used to be the hostess here. Oh, I could tell you stories about that, believe me. You can call on Cecilia for the more menial tasks. It's what she's suited for. I hope the bed's to your liking. Let me know if you have trouble sleeping. Attention Dunwall citizens. Be advised, the river crust infestation has spread downriver, as far as the river mouth and flooded district. Do not attempt to approach or destroy river crust. Any items from doing so are considered state Log entry 1-4. It seems we've moved to a new phase. Martin's improvisations have borne fruit. The former bodyguard has been freed and is en route to the staging location. The Pendleton's voting block and my military connections. All we've lacked is the ability to project lethal force in a controlled manner against a previously inaccessible... Ah, to the point, we need a man who can kill the bastards for us. Corvo is more than capable of that, I have no doubt. End ball. Is this off? Switch. Switch, where the hell is the... Lady Emily Caldwin was abducted six months ago during her mother's terrible murder. Anyone with information leading to the location or return of the daughter of our beloved Blake Empress is required My furnishings to have been installed at last with no small amount of complaining by that antiquated boatman. The others have no idea what it's like to suffer as I have. Speaking of which... Wallace! Please breathe two bottles of Dunwall Red, never mind which, and fetch a clean glass. I'll begin again tomorrow.
extends from sundown to sunrise unless you are otherwise authorized. Violators will be subject to interrogation and detained when necessary. Remember, the boldest measures are the safest. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times. But his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Traffic is forbidden from landing in the distillery district due to risk of infectious contact. Violators will be taken to the flooded district for treatment and rehabilitation. Good to have you with us, Corvo. Nothing against the others, but there's no substitute for a man who's done his service for the Crown. Have you talked to Piero yet? He made the weapons we left for you on your way out of Coleridge Prison. Go see him when you can. You don't know what it means to work with a man who stood at the Empress's right hand. We can't bring her back, but at least we have the man she trusted most. Piero still wants a word with you. He's, well, he's not a diplomat, but he's a brilliant man. Samuel is a blessing. Without him, we couldn't navigate the waters of the river at night. We keep our lights low to avoid prying eyes. What I wouldn't give to be back at sea. I told them I'd be damned if I sail under a usurper's flag. You should have seen their faces. Do not Curse the Lord. To house or care for a friend or family member who shows signs of blood on their face I might have taken to piracy right. after the Navy. The only but then inspiration struck me, and the I started assembling our little group will be taken to the, flooded the Empire was built on its Navy. Never forget that. I served proudly until the bureaucrats took over. Pendleton's a good man. Used to be close to that snake the Lord Regent himself. Don't be fooled by the fact that Pendleton I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work for you. I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. Oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible menace.
Academy it teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure and the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might, by a process of adaptation, produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substance developed. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities subject to the necessary legal amnesty. Perfect. Now plug it in. Just get it near the receptacle. Magnetism will... Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, the fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Send the lens out of the line. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Very well. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more. Tell me what I can make for you. My break with the Academy was... explosive, for lack of a better word. I had to rebuild from scratch, but... so much the better. I was sick of using tools made by lesser men. must have known Sokolov at court. Clever, yes, but fundamentally a second-rate mind.
Attention Dunwall citizens. Be advised the river crust infestation has spread downriver as far as the river mount and flooded district. Do not attempt to approach or destroy a river crust. Any items recovered from doing so are considered yes, state property. Very much so, but no need to fear. He's here to work with our masters. People say he killed the Empress. Of course he didn't. People are foolish and believe whatever they're told. Okay. If the Admiral trusts him, then so will I. Please follow me to your quarters. Lord Pendleton was once a close ally to the Lord Regent, but there was a great shuffling of the aristocratic families. My lord was attacked by vipers from all sides. I understand you were once welcome at court before the murder. May I say I am relieved to have another man here who knows the courtly world. This building has stood here for over three centuries. As long as Lord Pendleton calls it home, I would defend it with my life. I may well have to. This building has stood here for over three centuries. As long as Lord Pendleton calls it home, I would defend it with my life. I may well have to. This building has stood here for over three centuries. As long as Lord Pendleton calls it home, I would defend it with my life. Pleased to meet you, Master Corvo. I saw you at court in happier days, but you might not remember. I was once a close ally to the Lord Regent, Hiram Burroughs, back when he was just the spy master. He's one manipulative bastard, I can tell you that. There's something distinguished about you, Corvo. Was there nobility back in your family line? I wouldn't be surprised. Did you know I'm distant kin to the late Empress in her line? Not close enough, sadly. I'll never be Emperor. Most of the nobility went straight over to the Lord Regent's side after the Empress died. Easiest thing to do. But to me, a noble birth requires a sense of loyalty. This city has fallen into ruin since the plague struck. These poor weepers moaning and bleeding from the eyes. They say there's no cure for the plague once it advances that far. Hmm. Terrible. This is your room. It was chosen to give you privacy. I understand you'll need your rest. This building has stood here for over three centuries. As long as Lord Pendleton calls it home, I would defend it with my life. I may well have to. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead, her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the Outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that men call magic, and now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me.
days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. All of time is meaningless here, neither seconds, nor centuries. Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. The one who walks here is all things, cradle songs of comfort and bones not by tea. This is the place from which those who dabble in black arts draw their power. In this place is their doom. I can feel a great age ending. This place is the end of all things. And the beginning. All of time is meaningless here. Neither seconds, nor centuries. Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. The one who walks here is all things. Cradle songs of comfort and bones not by tea. This is the place from which those who dabble in black arts draw their power. And this place is their doom. They are burning whales. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest.